Hey, how's it going? My name is Luke, for those who don't know me, and this is my attempt to explain Steemit to my friends, and hopefully you find it useful as well. My name is Luke Stokes. Like I said, I run a company called FoxyCart. It's an e-commerce shopping cart system I've been working on for about nine years. I am i wouldn't call myself an entrepreneur uh, because I've only done this one business with my business partner, but I am really involved in the tech industry. I got involved in Bitcoin in 2013. I'm super excited about it. I was telling all my friends, this is going to change the world. And to agree, it has, and it is. And so I love technology. I love emergent technologies. I like the concept of decentralization and what it's going to do for humanity to improve well-being. There's just some really exciting stuff in this whole field. About a week ago, a friend of mine, Sean King, um, well, actually, he told me longer before that, he told me about it, uh, told me about Steemit, and I created an account, but I was actually traveling for my family. I, uh, I bookmarked the white paper I was very excited about at the time, but we were on the road camping, and I wasn't able to, to read it. So about a week ago, I, I went back to my account and started really diving into it, I read the white paper, and was just blown away. It's an amazing system that I think can really change the world. And I think I'm not alone in that. Actually, the, the market cap for the Steam cryptocurrency went from less than around $20 million when I looked at it to over $300 million. And that's incredible. I'm going to coinmarketcap.com to check that out. So obviously, uh, we have to say, wh why? Like, where did this money come from? Where, how did this happen? What's going on here? And I want to be able to explain it to my friends who maybe don't understand cryptography, blockchain technology, all that kind of stuff. And I'm not saying I'm an expert. I just, I've spent some more time than others, I guess, uh, looking into this. So in order to explain, explain Steemit and what it is, I have to kind of go back a little bit and explain blockchain technology and what, what, what Bitcoin is. In essence... Well, I can even go further back than that if you want. Why does it have value? So money is basically a ledger system. When you take out a form of money, whatever currency it might be in, and you exchange it to, with someone else, that's basically a ledger transaction. This person sent value to this person. And that kind of token, that dollar bill or whatever it might be, is a way to represent that value. And most people agree, and there's other aspects of money like fungibility and all that that make it uh, useful. So the blockchain is essentially a ledger that is completely decentralized. So there are copies of it all over the world on computers all over the world. And there are people that run through complicated processes on their machines that actually validate that blockchain, validate that ledger. They take a, a group of new transactions or data that is going to be stored on that blockchain. And w somewhere in the world, somebody solves this hard computer problem and says, hey, I, I've got the next block that we can verify and add to the blockchain, puts it out on the network and all the other miners and witnesses say, yeah, that's that's good. Let's add that to the, to the blockchain, add that block, and then it goes from there. And this ledger grows and grows as people add content to it and that content is verified. So that's in essence what a blockchain is. And there are multiple different blockchain technologies. Steam and Steemit is one of those. And what's really fascinating, what the, the thing that is super incredible to me, is that it's not just a cryptocurrency. They took the idea of the blockchain and said, hey, we can not just have these tokens of value that we'd exchange back and forth between each other, but we can actually put content on the blockchain. And they've created a completely decentralized social media network. Similar to Reddit, similar to Facebook or Twitter, the idea being every time you post that information at a tune of about every three seconds, gets stored on the blockchain. And just and everybody now has a copy of it all over the world. And so steemit.com is the website, and you can think of it as kind of like a client, a browser for looking at that data in the blockchain as it's being updated. If steemit.com goes down, go to steamd.com, and you can see another more techie version of exploring blockchain. There are going to be more in the future as well. The idea being that website is not Steam. That website is just a browser to the database. And there's going to be many, many more. The database lives all over the world, completely decentralized. You can't censor it. Uh, you, can't, you can't stop it other than shutting down the Internet. And it's, so it's an incredible concept. And they went even further with it, and they said, we're going to reward the people that create value within the social network. So similar to Facebook being valued at billions of dollars, 
it's because of all the people on Facebook creating that content and the ad revenue and everything else. And like, hey, there's a lot of people here. Every time you post on Steam it, every time you curate content and, and vote up content maybe other people missed and, and you want to make sure they, they, they see, every time you you know, are involved, even a comment, I had a comment that made me like almost 40 bucks and at the time it would be much more in the future, but you get rewarded with these tokens of value called Steam Power. And also for your, your uh, original creations, your comments and your posts, you get a 50-50 split between Steam Power and Steam Back Dollars. And those are basically tokens of value, a simple way to think about it. Uh, Steam Power is vested for two years, meaning every week at, at 104 weeks, you could get some of that out as Steam, all caps, and not Steam Power. And think of Steam as, as a cryptocurrency and Steam Back Dollars as another token of value that can be readily exchanges on on the open market. You can go to Bittex or a bunch of other different exchanges that will that are and will be trading this on the open market. And so this is real money. I mean, I know for those who haven't messed with cryptocurrencies, it can sound like fake internet money, but it's for real. Like I've paid down house debt with it. I have friends that have made lots of real money with it by investing in and exchanging it out to US dollars or even buying things directly with the cryptocurrency itself. There are many merchants, including on Foxycart, like we we support BitPay and Coinbase. You can pay for real world stuff with cryptocurrencies, with Bitcoin and eventually with Steam back dollars. So this is super exciting. This is mind blowing stuff. This is world changing stuff. When you see something like Steemit, when I found it at $20 million market cap, go to $300 million in market cap. You can check that out at uh, coinmarketcap.com. It's amazing. Like, this is incredible. And for those who have been following blockchain technologies for the last few years, it's like a vindication. Like, yes, this is real. There's incredible value here. This is the way we can reshape society to not be so hierarchical, not be so centralized, actually give individuals the ability to create value for others and be rewarded for it. That, to me is awesome. That to me is incredible. And so that's essentially what Steemit is. It's a blockchain-based decentralized social network that rewards you for creating content and curating content. So I'm at Luke Stokes at Steemit. So steemit.com slash at sign Luke Stokes. I would love to connect with you there. Please uh, upload my posts and comment on them and I will return the favor and get to know you. So thanks so much. And for my friends, I hope this was helpful. If not, uh, leave me a comment and let me know where I can improve because I really want to help my friends know about this thing. I think it's incredible. Uh, please don't ask me if you should invest in it. Uh, I did because, again, I spent an entire week up till 2 in the morning and getting four hours sleep many of those nights researching it myself. I read the 44-page white paper. I was really passionately excited about it. I would highly recommend reading that paper yourself. But I, I had to make my own decisions for this. And yes, I did invest in it, but I can't make that decision for you. Uh, and you can't just do this because some smart guy said it was neat uh, or worse yet, I said it was neat. <laughs> so um, look into it though. It's worth looking into. If you think it's worth your time to spend a week or two learning about it, then make your decision. And uh, I, I, I think it's going to be worth it. I think it's going to be around. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. Talk to you later.